Good morning everyone and welcome back to my garage. It is early here. Um, sun is just now starting to come up over the horizon. Uh, we've had roughly eight days. No, not roughly. We have had eight days worth of cloudy weather here. Yesterday had a little bit of sun peek through here and there, but nothing to get excited about. Now, eight days ago, I started on this system here with a battery in the 90s would be my guess, or pretty close. Uh, anyway, uh, and this system here was uh, around 90% too. Um, I, I started with full systems. We had uh, beautiful sunny weather there for a while. Uh, so, as a matter of fact, earlier in the month, I had this system running the refrigerator for a couple days. Now, that won't happen again until spring, uh, but that's how sunny it was. Um, normally, I, I don't have the energy, the excess energy to run the refrigerator, nor the battery capacity, and that's all changed as of late, obviously, because um, I have all this now. But anyway, back to the point, um, 600 amp hours worth of battery, which is this system here, uh, lasted the eight days. Now, that system has a constant load of about three, three and a half amp hours, or three, three and a half amps. Uh, add all that up, that's about 80-ish amp hours for the day. Uh, for a full 24-hour day, uh, 8 times 8 is 640. Um, let's have a look here right now. If you, she says 1279, so that's down there, 15%. Um, if it wasn't going to be sunny today, which is what they're calling for, uh, I, I would tonight have to charge from this system to this system to keep everything up and running. Now this one is currently reading about. 80%. Uh, I had the Giandel here on uh, for the first five days, uh, and its standby draw is enough to draw down the battery a little bit. Uh, so it's sitting somewhere at 80, 80 ish percent, ready to work and charge this one up. Now, on the previous system that I had, uh, when it was just these two batteries over here on this system, and I had a single, I had a single one of these here as as backup, uh, I could get five six days maybe um five ish depending on how thick the clouds were on those five days now with the 600 amp hour system eight days is uh it seems to be the number uh, and you know what that's not too bad at all uh it is rare that we have clouds for more than eight days in a row uh and with with this as backup i still probably have another three days worth here uh as on a cloudy day when the sun comes up and for eight to ten hours you, you draw enough even with the clouds to to charge the battery a little bit uh, and then at night time you just pull from this system and stick it into that system and uh, everything seems to work out pretty good uh, so roughly eight nine ten eleven twelve days maybe I, I think we could take twelve maybe even thirteen days worth of clouds in a row before we have to hit the grid and that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. That doesn't happen very often. That also means that uh, once the system is charged uh, and you know you're going to have good weather, you can draw the system down uh, to 70%-ish uh, playing with the electricity by, you know, using the refrigerator uh, off-grid and whatnot uh, and still feel pretty safe for a week. Uh, now, this time of year, it is possible to go 8, 10, 12, 13 days without any sun. Uh, but in the spring and the fall, that rarely happens. Uh, and that means with this much battery power at your disposal, you can, you can play with the electricity um, for eight months out of the year. Uh, you have a surplus and a large surplus um, from, you know, mid to mid. Uh, and you're gonna have to figure out how to use the extra electricity. Now, granted, I've been pushing as of late 600 watt, uh, 40 amp systems uh, because EP Ever has an MPPT charge controller now that will take 600 watts hooked up to it for a 40 amp system, uh, and that would be that'd be nice. Uh, if I was starting from scratch, I think I'd start with that uh, because that allows you to over panel uh, for the 40 amps, um, and you know. With what I have now, I have 200 and, or I'm sorry, 210 watts on this system. Oh wait, no. Let's get this straight here. We have 410 watts on this system and 280 watts on this system uh, as it stands now. 
Uh, and the extra wattage, this system here rarely is over 25 amps on a 30 amp charge controller. So, and it's over paneled a little bit now. So over paneling by another 60 or 70 watts would make it pretty close to 30 amps and allowing a 40 amp system to over panel to 600 watts is um, practically perfect in my opinion. Uh, you know, uh, what do I know? So take that for it. Take that for what it's worth, but um, I, I wouldn't mind being able to over panel that much and know that I'm not going to um, destroy or blow out anything. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm recommending that now. Anyway, all right, I went off on a rant. Just so that you guys know, 600 amp hours here, this system will go eight days. And then you don't, um, you know, eight days without uh, direct sunshine. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. All right, everybody. Well, have a good day and a better tomorrow. I'm out. See you.